we're making what I like to call chickless pot pie. It's still the ultimate comfort dish with the gravy and the flaky crust. Mine is just minus the meat and has a few more of my favorite vegetables. I've taken my culinary challenge friend Mandy and I'm gonna teach her how to make this Thank really you so good much. chickless Thank pot you. pie. We're gonna take about a half a cup okay. of um, butter substitute, put it in your pan there, slap it in your pan. Oh, I got well, turn. or yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we're just gonna turn this on. Hear the clicking? Yeah. It stops clicking, it's ready to go. While that's firing up, just finish chopping up your onion. Just give those a really right. good chop while I get these vegetables going okay. that are, that the Gwen's girls so nicely chopped up earlier. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies. I got about a half a cup of chopped celery. I got a cup of sliced carrots. And I got about a cup of diced potatoes. And I really like to, because um, I don't like to spend a lot of time in the kitchen. When I'm doing this, I chop a lot of vegetables and I put the ingredients that I need in Ziploc bags in the freezer. Oh, and great. that way, when you're getting ready to make it again, your vegetables are already chopped for the next time. That's okay. just a, it's just easy to do. About a cup of green frozen peas, okay, which are not wanting to come out. There we go. Whoa! I'm just gonna put these on the bowl while you're working on them. Okay. Those you're doing a great job. How Thank you. you. Feeling? feeling empowered by the whole culinary knife chopping I, theme? Yes. We're gonna cook these vegetables for about 15 minutes or until the okay. potatoes are tender. They say cook to translucent, which means clear, but I don't okay. mind if they brown a little bit because it's okay. really, really good. We've had a lot of fun over the years. Yes, we have. <laughs> we have had a lot of fun. I'm just gonna say, that's impressive. Thank you. You're doing Thank a really you. good I feel, job. I feel like it, they look great. You do, yeah. I'm gonna add a third of a cup of flour. This what is, is what that you, gonna do? This is gonna make it thicken up really fast and it's for the gravy. Okay. So it just keeps keep just stir that right okay. in. Great. And you're gonna just stir great. that in. It does smell good. I'm gonna put just a little, about a fourth of a teaspoon of pepper. Okay. A half a teaspoon of salt. A fourth of a teaspoon of celery seed and garlic powder. I'm gonna get some vegetable broth to go in there. Okay, great. This smells fantastic. Doesn't it smell good? And so far, it's not hard, right? No, it's not hard. So this is vegetable broth. We're gonna put a cup and three-fourths of broth in here. That is looking so good. I'm gonna pour this in slowly while you're stirring. A little Get facial? A little, yeah. Or a, ladies and gentlemen, Tushy Wood coming through the fog. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's looking really good. You just keep stirring. That's gonna thicken up a little bit, and then we're gonna put almond milk in it. Now that's kind of thick and bubbly, which is what you want. Okay. And that takes about five minutes. And then we're gonna add the milk. It's gonna get nice and thick. Now I've had this, I've never made it. Well, you won't be able to say after a day that you've never made it. Well, and I'm gonna make it a lot more now that I know how. And we use a store-bought pie crust for this because nobody has time to make a homemade crust. You could if you wanted to. We've gone ahead and boiled our vegetables. I've got carrots, peas, celery, and potatoes in here. And we've cooked them and drained them. We're gonna add that to the mixture. So Mandy, since this is your dish, right. I'll let you do that and just kind of get it stirred together and then we're gonna pour it into our crust. Well, I'm gonna get the top crust going here. You're doing a fine job Thank over you. there. Great. Very nice. So just gonna put a little flour out on the board and you know, this is just to kind of roll it out a little bit so that it's a little bit prettier when we put it on top of our pie crust. And I take gotta say, I'm more about how it tastes and how it looks, so it might not be the prettiest thing you've ever seen, but it's gonna taste good. And I'm going to toss this on top. Nicely done. Just gonna kind of lay like that. I've just set this on the top. I pinch it together just because it's easy like that. And you're okay. just kind of gonna try to make sure that it's closed around like that. So I'm gonna let you do that. Okay. And when you're done, you're gonna take this knife and cut some slits in the top okay. so that it doesn't explode in the okay. oven. We're gonna cook that at 425 for 30 minutes because everything inside it is already cooked. We got comfort food going and we don't feel like we're missing anything and we're doing our body good. And all veggies. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. so good. Look at a happy plate right here. 